Hey, what's up guys? So you have a uh, Roku TV, doesn't matter uh, which, which brand Roku TV could be on or Element, Hisense, even the uh, TCL Roku. Anyway, you have an issue, an audio or sound issue, or you have a picture issue. By audio issue, maybe there's no audio or no sound coming out, or maybe it's like out of sync or delayed, or it just sounds funny. And in regards to a picture issue, maybe you have a black screen when you're watching a movie or a show, or maybe it's flickering black screen. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys five solutions to get you up and running right now. So step number one, the first thing I want you to try is have your TV on first. And then while your TV is on, what I want you to do is pull the plug, okay? So pull the plug from the outlet while the TV's on, pull the plug, wait like 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in. Now go ahead and turn your TV back on and see if your uh, sound issues are fixed or the uh, picture issue is fixed, okay? If it's still down, then we're gonna go step number two. So the second thing that we're gonna try here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna restart your uh, Roku TV using the remote here, okay? Now this is gonna be a, a key combination on your remote. So go ahead and grab your remote, and this is the key combination here, okay? Here's the home button here. What you wanna do is tap the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then you wanna tap up once, and then you wanna tap on rewind twice, and then fast forward twice. Okay, so we'll do it together, ready? Home button here, five times. One, two, three, four, five, up once, rewind twice, fast forward twice. Okay, and now let the screen do its thing. It's gonna be doing all this funny stuff. What's gonna happen is it's gonna freeze here, and then it's gonna reboot twice. Okay, this whole process here takes about one minute. Now after it is uh, completely back up, see if your sound is working correctly as well as your picture, okay? If not, we're gonna to go to the next solution. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna try here is a uh, system update. So simply just gonna grab your uh, Roku uh, TV remote, press on the home button, and then you see on the left pane here, what you wanna do is you wanna go down, go all the way down to settings, and you wanna move over to the right, and then we wanna go all the way down to where it says system right here. Now go ahead and move over, and now from here, go all the way down to where it says system update. Right there, system update. Now move to the right, and then go ahead and check now. If you have an update, go ahead and download and install it. After the download and installing, then go ahead and see if your uh, sound or your uh, picture is working correctly, okay? If not, we're gonna go to the next step, okay? You can see I already have my update, my software's up to date. Anyway, just download and install if you have an update, okay? Now, if you're still down after uh, doing a uh, download and installing the new update, the next thing we wanna try is we wanna go ahead and reset the audio slash picture settings. So what you wanna do again is we're gonna go directly to the home button here. We're gonna to go to settings, okay? Left hand side, let's go all the way down to settings. Let's move over to the right. Now we're gonna go all the way down again to where it says system. Now move over to the right. Now go down all the way down to where it says advanced system settings right here. Now you wanna move over to the right. Now we're on factory reset. Now you wanna move over to the right one more time now it says reset TV audio slash picture settings. Now to proceed, you have to press the play slash pause button right here. Press it three times and go ahead and let it do its thing. Once you're done with uh, resetting the uh, audio and picture settings, then go ahead and see if your sound or your picture is working correctly. Now, by now, most of you guys should be up and running. However, if you're still down, I have one more solution, but if you're still down, what I want you to do is try every single step here in this video again, starting from step number one. Try each step three or four times, okay? And if you're still down, the last option I have for you is to perform a factory reset. Don't forget with a factory reset, you're gonna be losing everything. All your personal information on the TV is gonna be lost. It's gonna be as if you bought this TV brand new and took it out of the box. Now there's two ways to do a factory reset, okay? One way is going through the settings. The other way, there's a reset button on the back of TV, a little tiny button where you have to press and hold for 15 seconds and it'll automatically perform a factory re uh, reset. If you can't go through the uh, settings here, maybe you're, um, once we go to the settings here, maybe, you're factory, maybe you can't get the factory reset because your screen is black or maybe because it's grayed out. Anyway, for the settings, go ahead and just uh, click on the home button and then we're gonna go down to settings, then move over to the right, and you wanna go all the way down to system, move over to the right, and then go all the way down to where it says advanced system settings, and move over to the right, and now we're on factory reset. Now move over one more time, and now you wanna move down. It says factory reset everything, okay? And to proceed with the factory reset, you're gonna to have to punch a uh, four-digit code, 
you can see that my code they gave me down here it's one five one zero so go ahead and tap in that code and then go ahead and click on OK and then it'll go ahead and perform a factory reset anyway most of you guys should be up and running okay if this worked for you give me a thumbs up if it didn't give me a thumbs down good luck guys